second graders. This is Mrs. Daniel, back for some more math. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I am enjoying doing them for you. Um, today we're going to be talking about subtracting uh, when there is a zero in the tens place and sometimes even a zero in the ones place and how to figure that out. Before we do that, we're going to look at this right here. So 100 can be shown like this. 100, 1, 100 in the hundreds place. 100 can also be shown as 9 tens, 7, 8, 9, and 10 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I were to count, you guys can count along at home. We're going to count by tens. Let's see if this shows 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Now we're going to count by ones. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So 100 can be shown as 9 tens and 10 ones. So I could show it here as 9 tens and 10 ones. That's another way that I can show 100. I could also have all ones and show 100 ones, but that would take a long time and that would not be um, the best way to show 100. Now let's unbundle a 200. Let's look at this. So we could have 200 in here, 100, 100, and that shows 200, okay? We could also unbundle 100 and we could show 100 and 10 tens, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If we have 10 tens, we would have 110 tens. Now we could unbundle a 10 and show 10 ones here. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This still shows 200. So 200 can be 100. Nine tens and how many ones? Ten. Ten ones. So one hundred, nine tenths, and ten ones still equals two hundred. Let's double check. One hundred, one hundred and ten, one hundred and twenty, one hundred and thirty, one hundred and forty, one hundred and fifty, one hundred and sixty, one hundred and seventy, one hundred and eighty, one hundred and ninety, one hundred and ninety one, one hundred and ninety two, one hundred and ninety three, one hundred and ninety four. 195, 196, 197, 198, 199, 200, okay? So this all still shows 200. And the way to show it broken down over here would be that this was a 10 and then a 9, and we have 10 ones. 9 tenths, we have 100. 9 tens, 10 ones. Okay, now we're going to use this knowledge to do a subtraction problem. Okay, here is our first problem 200 minus 28. Now you can show your work using the chip model, which is the model I'm going to use today, or you can use the place value disk, or you can use base 10 blocks, basically, whichever method is best for you. Um, I'm going to use the chip model today. So 200, okay? So I'm going to have 200s here. I have two in my 100 spot. Okay, now I want to come all the way to my ones and I want to take away eight ones. There's nothing here. I can't take away anything. I'm going to come over to my tens. Oh, still nothing. What should I do? Oh, well, I see there's a hundred over here. Maybe I could borrow this guy. Bring him over. How many tens am I going to put here? Ten. That's right. If you said ten, nice job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. 
now that I have 10 here, what can I do? Because I still don't have anything to take away my ones. I'm going to borrow again or unbundle again. So I'm going to take a 10, I'm going to unbundle it, and I'm going to do 10 ones. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now I'm ready. So now if you notice, I have 10 ones. How many? Tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens. And how many hundreds do I have? I have one hundred. Okay. And now I can cross out eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have one, two left. And I need to take away two tens. One, two. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. Am I done? No. I still have 100 here. Don't forget about your 100. I still have 100. So this is my answer, 172. Nice job. Okay. I'm going to show you one more example. Okay. The next problem is 100 minus 83. So again, I have... 100, and I need to take away three ones from my ones place. Do I have enough? No. Do I have enough? No. Do I have enough? Yes. Come over here. Bring them over. How many tens am I going to draw here? If you said ten, nice job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now I still need to take away my three ones. I still don't have enough. So again, I'm going to come grab a 10. I'm going to unbundle it. And I'm going to do 10 ones. Okay, so I grabbed the 10. I brought it over. And I have 10 ones here. So now, what it would look like here is I have zero hundreds. I have nine tens. And I have 10 ones. Now I'm ready to cross out my three tens, my three ones, sorry. One, two, three. How many do I have left? Five, six, seven. And I'm ready to cross out my eight tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have a one left. And I have zero hundred, so I'm not going to write anything. 17 is my answer. If you're ever wondering how you can see if your answer is correct, when you're subtracting these two answers right here, 83 and 17, these two are the parts and they equal the whole. The whole is 100. That's what you started with. 83 and 17, those are the parts. So if those two parts add up, to equal 100, then we found our correct answer. 7 plus 3 equals 10, so I would do the 0, right, my 1, 8, 9, and 10 would equal 100. So yes, my answer equals out. That's just if you were wondering if you could double check your work. Okay, now you're ready to go to the exit ticket um, for this lesson, and I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Bye!